Hey, what's up, everybody? It is Mark with the My Front Range Living Team, and we are continuing our series on the best neighborhoods in Colorado Springs 2.0, and we're going to get started right now. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It is Mark with the My Front Range Living Team, powered by Remax Integrity. We're a team of full-time real estate agents here in Colorado Springs, and today we are continuing our series of the best neighborhoods in Colorado Springs. Now, this is the second time we've done this series, and we're focusing on new builds. So uh, if you're looking for a new build community in Colorado Springs, moving to Colorado Springs, just buying a home in Colorado Springs could be a great option for you today. Uh, it's a pretty specific neighborhood, and that is the Retreat at Banning Lewis Ranch. Now, the reason that that's specific is the Retreat is specifically a 55-plus community. So, uh, if you are under the age of 55, you can hit pause, stop, or go check out one of our other videos right here. But, if you are thinking about retiring in Colorado Springs, let me tell you about the Retreat at Banning Lewis Ranch. So, again, it's specific to 55 and over, and those are those communities are gaining traction in Colorado Springs. We're starting to see a few of them pop up. Uh, there are two builders in the retreat at Banning Lewis Ranch, and those are Oakwood Homes and Classic Homes. Now, Oakwood is gonna show up everywhere in Banning Lewis Ranch. They are the developer for the community, so it stands to reason that they would be building in there. And Classic Homes is obviously one of uh, the Springs uh, top builders, and they are also in there. What's great about the community on top of being specific to 55 and plus uh, is the fact that every home in the community is a ranch style home. So when you go and you're looking at the models at the retreat, you're going to notice that they're all ranchers and some of them uh, have basements, others don't have to. They can be finished, they can be unfinished. It gives you a lot of options. The reality of it is they're all ranchers. And so that's fantastic. What we liked about the community when we were out there was the fact that the community center uh, that they have uh, in, in the retreat is specific to that community. Banning Lewis itself, uh, the, the entire master plan community has multiple community centers, but uh, the retreat has their own. It is dedicated specifically to the retreat, as is the pool that goes with it. The, uh, the retreat has their own pool, their own dedicated pool, and the people who live inside the retreat can still use the other amenities at Banning Lewis Ranch. More on that in just a second. So yeah, the dedicated community center and the pool is a big draw for the retreat. The other thing that we liked too while we were there, uh, we saw a bocce ball courts, um, a gardening area. So they have raised beds uh, throughout this area and uh, you're, you're able to plant and so on and so forth uh, because you're not able to do it necessarily in your yard, but uh, they have area to an area to garden. And that's right, they have pickleball. Yes, pickleball and all of its popularity right now they have multiple uh, pickleball courts and you are able to take advantage of those, as well as the pickleball courts that are in Banning Lewis itself. So uh, another big draw to the retreat is the fact that at some point it will be gated. Right now you're not going to see those gates operable uh, too terribly often simply because of the construction traffic and just the sheer volume of people coming into the community center to take a look at building their home and so on and so forth. But over time, the retreat is going to be an absolutely gated community. Now, let's go back to the fact that uh, in, in as being a part of the retreat, you get to use all of Banning Lewis's amenities. The outside of the retreat is not able to come in and use your clubhouse and your pool and the pickleball courts and so on and so forth, but you, being a member of Banning Lewis itself, you can go and go enjoy their pickleball courts, the dog park, the miles and miles of trails that they have, the fitness center that they have at the community center, the various pools and the splash pads and things like that. You can go to Banning Lewis and use all of those amenities as well. Another great thing uh, for those of you who might be thinking about retiring in Colorado Springs is the fact that Banning Lewis, uh, and we've talked about this before, is very, very convenient to the Powers Corridor. So the Powers Corridor is going to have a lot of shopping, a lot of shops, restaurants, uh, things of that nature, a lot of retail. Uh, and so you're going to have some entertainment options as well as be very, very close to all of your grocery stores and everything else that you might need in your home. Uh, and if you are thinking about moving to Colorado Springs, you can go down below and uh, you can download the relocation guide. Uh, it's in the description down there uh, and that's yours. It just gives you a little more information about Colorado Springs as you begin to transition here. Well, hey, as always, we hope that you found value in today's video, specifically those of you 55 or over. We are putting content out every single week to help you make Colorado Springs feel like home. 
As always, thanks for stopping by. We appreciate it. Mark with My Front Range Living, powered by Remax Integrity. We look forward to seeing you soon. Have a great day.